and welcome everybody uh, to today's episode of Prothero and his adventure uh, in his adventure in Tamriel. I uh, hope everybody's having a great Veterans Day so far. Um, hopefully, everybody will be grilling, <clears throat> doing a little drinking. Um, so yeah. So jumping right back to it, I believe um, our boy here just kind of picked up a quest to go fight some goblins uh, at a farm. So we're going to go fight some goblins uh, what is at a it? farm. Nothing, man. I'm out of my way. Hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll come out... Uh, with a re with a reward, a little bit of drink and money, and be on our Man, road to uh, Kavach to pick up this priest uh, that our boy Joffrey has told us to go and find. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely day today. Um, so, well met. Yep. Uh, have a good one. See, I believe he said they would be at the Priory waiting for us, so that's good. And I presume you gentlemen are them. Why isn't Father here? He knows how important this is. You are them. Hey, your father sent me uh, in his stead. What do you mean he's not coming? He told you to come with us instead? Has he no honor? Mm -hmm. Uh, that's not the right way to be. Perhaps your brother will make more sense. I'm afraid I have no time for small talk, Fred. I'm waiting for my father, Valis <sighs> O'Dill. Have you seen him in town by any chance? Well, I guess you didn't overhear, but your your father has sent me in uh, his stead. He's not coming with us? I think I understand, and it is better that he remains safe. Though I wonder why he has asked you to take his place. I have no idea. You would join us, though you have no personal stake like, in this honestly, <laughs> I just walked into deal. town. I gladly accept your help, then. There's no point in waiting here any longer. Follow me. All right. Yeah. Your brother uh, definitely was the uh, more intelligent of the two of you guys. So, uh, since we're going to take a day and a half to walk here anyway, I might as well kit up. Uh, go ahead and have the battle rattle on and uh, do the PCCs, PCIs real quick. Uh, yeah. May, may use the Claymore. Try to see if I can remember my hotkeys. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. I can't remember if it's Shock or Frost that uh, goblins tend to hate the most. Yeah, you lead the way. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure it's right. It's the one we talked about no one working at on the way here. Um, it is, and it, it is mind-blowing just how much um, wearing armor does slow you down. I mean, this is my character's walking speed. In the name of our hey guys, it's starting to rain. Like, can we... <laughs> Can we go and get along on with this? I know this is probably your dramatic moment, boys, but if you haven't been in a battle before with uh, with goblins, I can tell you, back in my Legion days, I've seen them make short work of gentlemen stronger than yourselves. Even even though I'm the one that, that uh, can't seem to keep up with you both walking um, in this armor. There she is. It's very interesting. We didn't get ambushed by the goblins on our way here, which would make uh, sense to me. We also do need to... Uh, 
upgrade our spells, but for, uh, that's not an exact priority at the at this time because I just let's see, yeah, I have ten gold, so uh, we are gonna definitely look into. Uh, we will be doing. I know this is a one that everybody hates, but we will be doing the Mages Guild quest line. Uh, spoiler alert, but uh, just to give you an idea of some things that we will be doing. I plan on doing this as a pretty long form playthrough, uh, as, as long as we don't have too many uh, issues. Wow, they didn't take any of the food. Okay, uh, that's nice of them. You got most of your crops. Stay focused. Watch your backs and be careful. Andrews, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, let's Defend go. Yourselves. Here they come. They're fast, aren't they? Much faster than me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I suck. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> shock you with my shocky hands. Rah. All right. How's about that? Looks like I'm not as rusty as I thought. And uh, I'll just take some tomatoes here. Uh, and maybe a watermelon. Or maybe a watermelon. Or maybe... Uh, <laughs> dang. Okay, finally. I'm just gonna take that as a little, you know, a little off the top there, gentlemen. Okay, I don't really know if there's gonna be anything worth looting off of these goblins. There we go, precious lockpick. Ooh, sweet. No, they are kind of hard to come by in this game until you get associated with a certain group. Hey, well, hey, gents. Uh, I'll just go talk to your father then. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I'm trying to remember these hotkeys. Alright. Actually, I'm kind of digging the Claymore for right now. I'm, I'm definitely digging it. Actually, why are we wearing the tin suit still? I suck. Cool. Yep. All right. So that was a successful little quest. Um, I know previous playthroughs. Uh, it depends on what level you you come and do this quest at, but since we're a low level, the two guys we were with survived, but one thing you, at least I notice uh, in most every playthrough I've done, that over time, uh, regardless of how hard I try to protect NPCs, gosh damn, it's pouring down. We've got to get in, in the bar, get out of this cold. Sir? What's this about? Look, I know I, I just left earlier, but Come on, it's raining. Let me back in here uh, so I can have a, a damn ale. Yes. Yes. Ale, yes. Alright. Damn. Alright. Well, at least it, it quit raining quite as hard. Eh, it quit raining at all. As soon as I get to the damn bar. I'm telling you folks, I'm not making it up. My, my luck is definitely terrible. Um... Where are you, old Greetings. boy? Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? What do you want, Breton Trash? Dude. Like, look at you. Like, look at your face. That's... I don't even have to say anything. That's the last of them! 
Uh, what? You're back, and you've brought my sons with you. I, I am. How wonderful! Indeed, the creatures are dead. Foul things. They deserve the death you brought them. Agreed. Prothero is not a big fan of anything that raids, pillages, or uh, steals from from innocent folks. He he is okay with vanquishing and doing so, especially for uh, money. My boys are safe. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for sticking with them and helping a foolish old man. Please take this. I won't be needing it any longer. My battles are over. Mm. It's much I plan appreciated, to live sir. Up my days on the farm in peace and quiet. Sweet. All right. Well. Goodbye. Much appreciated. How goes it? Something on your mind? Let's get a, a bed here and. Uh, I take it you want an honor to serve you. I'm Imfrid, owner and publican of the Grey Mare, at your service. A room, or food, whatever you wish. Oh boy, um, yeah, let's definitely get a bed. I have a room. I'll take it, madam. The room's yours for the night. It's just upstairs, the first door on the left. Sleep well. All right, and uh, we'll see. Yeah, we will see, won't we? Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's really too much. Yeah. Really? Is that not now? Oh, crap. Not later. Oh, don't. I... Oh, please. Yeah, not doing so hot on oh, this one, boys. What? None? Sorry. Really? Oh, please. <laughs> Where'd you? Uh... Don't try to manipulate. Really? Is that so? Yeah. Don't remark. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. <laughs> All right. Um, let's uh, let's talk what about. What can I interest you in? Let's talk about. It. Food. Ooh, cheese. We can have that. I, d I don't have enough gold for the cheese. Where's my gold? I spent my last ten gold on a room here. You too. <sighs> We're starting off pretty rough, ladies and gents. Um, <laughs> let's have our last ale. And, uh... Depressingly, walk our happy ass up to uh, up to bed, and then uh, we'll hit the road in the morning. <laughs> what time is it? 1:49 p.m. I guess. I mean, I don't have anything to sell, do I? I've got a shock spell and a wolf pelt. <laughs> um, eh, some potions. Eat my lettuce, my tomato, <laughs> and, for, and just go to bed sad with a with one beer and, t and a tomato on my stomach. Yeah, let's just call it a day. We went and killed the goblins and we're tired. We're very tired, um, and just kind of depressed and down that we're we're just so broken. Okay, we're gonna sleep. We're gonna set out at night. See if we can't. Uh, See if we can't reach Kavach by uh, maybe the early early dawn or something. Oh boy, our endurance is quite uh, quite low for uh, for a warrior or, or even a battle mage type. So that's concerning. Ooh, personality. Plus four, baby. Um, I'm inclined to take it, honestly. But I, I desperately need uh, a little bit, probably just to invest in, in at least, I don't know. I've got a very low agility. Um, hmm. Athletics. Yeah, we're going to hit that just for now. Um, like I said, we're not really min-maxing. Um, 
And the personality, I could see the increase though, because we have been going out and, and dealing with a lot of people. Um, but yes, we also need uh, our resolve strengthened to get through this. Okay. Kinda, kinda scared me how long that took to save, or to, to sleep, so I'll do a little save. Okay. All right. Ladies and gents, I do still hope you're enjoying our story, um, and it's time that we... Hello. Hello. Hit the road. Let's have a beer. Um, and just really get to get out there and get, get our journey going. What's this about? Nothing. Take care. That's all I was going to say. Take care. For we shall uh, take our pennies, pennyless ass um, out, and uh... oh, also um, our quest quest reward was a unique weapon, and uh, I love I love that unique weapon. We've got two unique weapons now, um, so this one uh, for, for right now, this one is going to be probably more efficient to use. Um, we need a place to dump gear as well. And I don't need that short sword, do I? Drat. Well, that's alright. We'll, we'll get it sorted when we get to uh, Kavach, which I will use a quest marker um, just for the sake of the journey. It's going to take long enough as it is without me being completely and utterly lost. And this is one of those games where where that can happen quite easily, as a matter of fact. But, uh, yep. I didn't think to check to see if we needed to um, to repair anything. Uh, however, what am I? Sorry, folks. I'm I'm getting the hang of this uh, controls here. Need to hotkey you to four. Cool. That way we don't have to just keep opening the menu every time we want to uh, do some repairing. It would probably behoove us to go and explore some of these ruins that we come across, but right now we are kind of on on the mission uh, to to Kvatch. And what lovely weather! It just starts pissing and pouring on us again. Oh joy! Village? Empty village. Very spooky. Um, do we go in? It is raining, like. Well, no, we don't. We get the hell. I guess we just move on. I'm definitely not going in the creepy old chapel. That is not happening. No way. You can forget about that. We know better uh, <laughs> to poke our head in on something like that. It's a little rain. Uh, if anything, it's probably cooling us off on our cross-country sprint. We're just going to keep trudging through the mud until we get there. What is this? A farmstead? Weatherlay. Okay. Ah, shrine. Well, 
Fleece Giuliano stop the damn rain. <laughs> um, we do, uh, we do believe in the divines and, and all that, and especially with the circumstances here lately, um, with this odd occurrence of events in the last few days, we are definitely believing that there's something guiding us towards either death, certain death, or our destiny, so... Creepy. Everything looks so much more spooky when it's uh, pissing and pouring rain. We will start probably once... I don't know. We'll, we'll delve into some dunge dungeons, of course, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, but, however, right now we're just going to kind of stay zeroed in on... on the main quest at the moment. As I'm sure you guys can already tell, um, a lot of this playthrough is just kind of how the story... I'm just kind of letting the game <laughs> play with the story, um, and, and I'm going to hit what pops up, I guess, when it pops up. Uh, who knows? odd. Do we touch the strange, weird, glowy orb? Yes. Wow. Ancient elves, uh, they sure did, uh, they were into some weird shit. But hey, it, it definitely made us feel better, apparently. Yeah, I'm glad I, I decided to, <laughs> to uh, get to show you guys this lovely countryside here with the uh, endless and non-stop foreboding rain as we walk slowly to our doom. Which we should be about there by now. Um, we'll just have to see. I'm damn tempted to seek shelter somewhere. I mean, it's nighttime, it's raining, it's probably a little bit cold. Yeah, you know what'll warm me up on a cold night. Uh, we have another farmhouse. What a hell of a fire. It's locked. I thought maybe we could stop in. But nope, things sure have changed since I was a since I was a kid. You can't just take shelter in a farmhouse now, you know. 20, 2022 Tamriel. A little bit too sketchy, I guess. I remember when people used to keep their doors unlocked around these parts. And you guys are actually lucky you're watching my uh, my Let's Play role-playing character and not my actual like way I play characters when I'm not streaming, because I would be jumping around like a madman, grabbing every single... Uh, alchemy ingredient that uh, that we come across so you're welcome for for that it is tempting I do enjoy it yep. like I said I'm sorry if this is definitely gonna bore the crap out of you guys because uh, we will be doing a lot of journeying in this game uh, over time our character will become much much faster um, Oh, shit. Damn devil rats. <laughs> like, like, let's be honest. If, if you've seen a rat that big in, in proportion to, uh, to a person, I mean, that's like a small dog. 
Like, I, I would actually hate to legit run through these forests in real life and just get mauled by uh, some kind of strange... Ooh, dear. Uh, but... <laughs> by some strange rat creatures. What do we have? We have an encampment up, up here in the distance. Uh, we spot with our non-elven eyes. Um, perhaps we could... Well, we should be cautious because... Well, for one, we're under attack. Ah, oh, uh, yep. Bastard. Yeah, we started donning our armor because I knew as soon as we got near that a camp, a lot of times, marauders and brigands. Uh, I'm gonna take your pants. You can have my pants. Jerk. Anyway, um, Prothero is not uh, ignorant, again, to the fact that bandits, brigands, tend to camp near busy roads. It is late at night. Where are you? We got an archer. It's so... Somebody's... Whoa! Hey, thanks, man! Yes? Thank you. You, uh... You, like, saved me, dude. I appreciate it. Uh... Thanks for the assist. Um, but anyway, it looks like I'm having some issues, so I'm going to pause the recording uh, for just a second. And... Okay. Yep, we're having a frame rate issue. I'm going to need to close out real quick and uh, reload, guys, so... Bear with me for just a sec. Uh, we are back. Um, I was having some very, very weird issues uh, with the frame rate there and some crashes. I don't know why, um, but it is what it is. Um, so, anyway, I apologize. Uh, like I said, I'm still trying to figure this thing out myself. I don't know. I had to restart my whole computer, basically, and go from there. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Here's the campsite. Let's have us one. And uh, I'd say we're safe. We have a legion. You know, we had a legionnaire help us clear this. Uh, I'd say we're in good shape to take a nap here if we'd like to. It's four, five, about five in the morning. Let's take like a two hour rest, short rest. Maybe let this rain pass. That would be fantastic. Never mind. Uh, I guess the rain's here to stay. So we took us a quick rest here at this camp because we've been running uh, quite a distance across country. Um, and yeah, we are getting closer to Kavach. Let's just see about just maybe removing like our helmet, Kyrus, and just try running like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. And we've got a little protection if we need it. Not too shabby. Okay. It's a hell of a, of a random uh, hill there. Guess we'll be going around. But yeah, if you see me quick saving uh, quite frequently. Guys, that's definitely part of the reason why, uh, because this uh, is an old game. Like I said, it pushed the limits of the engine and, and some, I believe, at the time. And so, plus compatibility issues, new software, new operating systems. Uh, it's a wonder the, that stuff works at all, really, sometimes, if you think about the amount of time that's passed. I mean, I was in high school when this this game came out, so... Oh my 
god, that was a while ago. Oh, the rain's letting up a little bit. Perfect. That can mean nothing but good things, right? As we journey on our... Yeah, it's usually about when we get to wherever we're going. That's when the piss-pouring rain stops, so... Running. Damn, we're ripped. Wow, beautiful. What in the world? What's that dude going? He was booking it. Kovach. This way. Wow, look at that. Now that's just uh that's just as pretty as, as a picture. Letters folly. Oh wow. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that, guys, and that's part of why I wanted to start the uh doing the streaming and stuff too and just capturing these moments like these deer trotting through this field beautiful okay well this is a refugee camp it would appear outside of the town I'm just done I can't face it I have to start over from nothing come on run while oh there's my God. still time the guard still holds the road but it's only a matter of time that's before the dude that ran down. past us dude you ran past us Run it. What are you running from? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls. Gates to oblivion itself. Deidre did there it. There was a huge creature. Something out of a nightmare. Came right over the walls. Blasting fire that swarmed around it. Jeez. Killing The whole city can't possibly have been wiped off the face of the, of Nern. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Oh, that's horrible. How did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Oh, awesome. Savly says the guard. they can hold the road. <laughs> no. No, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. All right, well. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. It's the smell, oh. really. Smoke and fire. Smoke and that is the oddest conversation I think I've, I've ever had. I guess Let's try talking to someone anything. else. I don't have much. I lost everything. I hate to hear that. What do you? What if do I you can't have? fix it, it ain't broke. I don't have any gold. I have no gold. Only can I sell quality anything? goods for Just sale out of here. Curiosity. Yeah. What can I interest you in? Hmm. Hold on. Let's chatter up. Say Just what you're going to say. Quick. I like you too. Oh, that's you're you're wasting your breath. Probably. <laughs> you're full of it. Come on. You know you love me. Yeah. You. I like you too. Blop. Come on. Where'd you get that? <laughs> you're a. Mm, it's good of you to say so. It is. Oh, I just yeah. admire that... your natural beauty. I like beauty. you too. <laughs> I'm just chatting up this orc lady. All right. Uh, what can I interest you in? A master. It's two experts and a master. I mean, these these people take mercantilism seriously in, in Cyrodiil. It has to be said. bit. Mm, I hate to get rid of it. Maybe I should you drive just a have, hard a, have a backup sword. A, fun, a good price for a good customer. Well, thank you. You've made Sweet. a good price for that a good customer. should buy us their 20 gold apiece. A repair hammer. Gee, lady, thanks. I'm gonna go try to save. Uh, I'll Tell just your friend. Go try to save your town. 
Should Goodbye. Be, should give me a repair hammer for this. Gosh damn. We're gonna get involved with this because we can't just let these soldiers uh, fight alone up here. That's just not right. It's just not what we would do. No, no, no. We are gonna go help. Let's, uh, let's get the old tin suit on. See about getting up here and helping out our fellow guardsmen. Oh, the sky is turning red. That's always a good sign. Always a good sign. When the sky's turning red and the uh, trees look like that, that's that's great. Wow, and it's it just builds and gets worse the closer I get. Whoa. What the heck? Watch out. I'm too slow to get to the fight. What's the matter? Ah. I think I hit him by accident. That wasn't much help there. Um, maybe there's something that I can do, at least, right? Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. Look, what happened? We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much, too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count That's and his awful. men are still holed up in the castle. Wow. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. Shit. What will you do? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground. That's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Wow, this is desperate. I'll help. I'm gonna help you. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I'll do whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. Hmm. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Okay, well, sure. After all, um... The brave thing you're doing. That's never good when someone says that. Like, hey, you're doing this brave thing, man. Good for you. All right, ladies and gents, here we 